Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make this GFI and this receptacle be GFI protected. So you can have this down the line from this and still be GFI protected. Stick around guys. Alright guys, so like I said, this is going to be about how to take this GFI and make this receptacle GFI protected. Now, if you're if you stumbled upon this video first uh, about how a GFI works, okay, it's important, I believe, that you go back and watch my video on GFIs, okay? I will put the link right there. Stop right here, click that link above, go back there, so you'll understand all about this GFI and the line and the load part of it because this is when the line and the load becomes really important, distinguishing what's what. Now, if you already understand line and load, I'm not going to get into a whole big spiel about it. If you already understand what goes where and how it works, then fine. Continue on with the video. Alright, so we're going to, like I said, we're going to take this one downstream and make it GFI protected. Now, I have my fake wall set up here. Now, we're going to pretend like this wall is, you know, in a kitchen area. We're going to say this is a kitchen, okay? So, what we have here, let's say that we're wiring a house or this is a house that's already wired and it had some receptacles in it and we have to change them out. What you're going to have to do, I already done it for you, but I'm going to zoom in here in a second. But you're going to find where your main power comes in. Now on this one I already know because you can see it. It comes in from the bottom and then the daisy chains over here to your other receptacle, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and zoom on in, get my ugly face out of this picture. Oh yeah, by the way, what do you think about this, guys? Just saying, IBW, baby. Uh, I'm going to show you hands-on everything how it works and I'm going to briefly explain to you the line and load and I'm going to roll with it so let's get on to this video as you already know line and load when you get a brand new GFI out of your box it should have the tape on it like I mentioned in my other videos sometimes it doesn't then you gotta look back here and what's line and what's load line always brings your power in okay on the load side that is what downstream on your other receptacle this one right here because this is your main one this is your downstream, okay? This is your second receptacle, which will be your just your regular duplex, okay? So you'll want to make sure that you put your other receptacle on your load side. If you do not and you put them both on the same side, when this trips out, this one's going to keep on going because all you're doing is stabbing in the back here. And like I said before, this is the only receptacle I recommend stabbing in the back. No other receptacle. Now, we do know where the power is and we do know where the downstream circuit. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get our wire net. Okay, now this is a green wire net. It has a hole in it. I think I've showed you on a couple of my videos. All you need to do with this is you put your grounds together, like so. So you're just going to twist them, right? You're just twisting. And you take your clients, lines, side cutters, whatever you want to call them. Alright, now you should always put your main power of your ground coming to you in this recept in this wire nut so it sticks out through here okay so as you see this wall has been used plenty of times so my main is getting a little short but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway now I've watched a few videos I'm gonna talk to you why I'm doing this I've watched a few videos of people doing this in the past here recently and you know not that they're doing it wrong but you know there's a lot of uh, issues I guess you could say okay first of all you always want six inches of wire coming out of your box so if you don't know what six inches is uh, it's best to you know take a mark on your pliers mark it on your screwdriver pull it out all right so now one thing you have to make sure on line and load okay you have to make sure you know which is downstream and which is home run and if you see what I did when we first started this video I'm sure you can back it right up and see I had the home runs down and the downstream up. That is super important, guys. Super, 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 super important. Okay? Line, load. Line, load. Alright, having said that, let's go and start getting her done. Alright, now I told you before, usually I wrap the ground screw, but since it's short this go around and this just a instructional video, I'm gonna go ahead and just slam it in the back because it does have a place where you can do that too. All right, I just pushed it under there, like so, and give it a... All right, now, 
we're gonna do we're gonna leave the tape on because you don't want to get confused some people even me I've done it before let me see if I can get my ugly face in this I've done it before where I've taken tape off talking and before you know it I've hooked it up wrong I always like to leave it until the very end so we always want to go ground neutral hog correct so ground neutral now on this one we're just going to put the hot in here now instead of going ground neutral hot on both of them okay like i told you before but you're still going to do ground neutral hot make sure you can see good all right so there we are that's the line side this is the load side all right now we'll take the um sticker off here you just peel it right off Another thing you want to make sure of, guys, you know, okay, don't get confused on, like, getting your hot neutral crossed up because it's very easy to do. Trust me, I've done it before. All right, we'll do the neutral first. So you just put it in, like so. And then, I'm putting in these holes, by the way, in case you, let's see if I can zoom in here and show you. So these holes right here is where I'm putting it in. I'm just pushing straight in, holding it so it stays in there, and then tighten it right on up. Nothing too fancy, right guys? All right, now. We'll go ahead and we'll push this back in the box. All right, so now onto this one. Now, this one too has a place where you can push in the back. Now, somebody called me out on my push in the back stab things, okay? And they said that a 12 wire cannot go in there, only 14, okay? They are right, okay? But a lot of homeowners, the reason why I said that is because there's a lot of homeowners that still buy 14 gauge. I never recommend it. See, I got 12 in there right now. That's what I got because that's what I buy. You could probably get 12 in there if you really shoved it. I've never tried it because I don't use those in the back. So the guy that called me out, so be it. You can only 14 gauge? Hey, fine. That's great. I still wouldn't recommend putting it in there. I don't now. I'm not then. I'm never going to do it other than a GFI. It's the way it is. All right, same thing goes here. We're going to want to strip. Now, obviously, this is just a test wall, so your wire wouldn't be falling out of your box and everything. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to get these the same length. And we're going to go ahead and strip these out. Now, these are dual wire strippers, so I can strip two at the same time, as you see. I'll leave, if I can remember, I'll leave all these tools that I'm using down there in the links to Amazon. Feel free to check it out. These things are super handy. I mean, they're, you see I've had them for a good long time. I mean, they're Klein, so, uh, but they are super handy, okay? All right, so having said that, we'll go ahead and we'll put our receptacle on. All right, perfect example of a very not good bend on there. So all you have to do is you take your end of your pliers here or your strippers or whatever you have, and you just squeeze it, and it'll go right over there, okay? That's all you want to do. Hey, stuff ain't made up. This is real life. It's real life stuff here, guys. Now, this screwdriver I'm using is another Klein screwdriver, and it's a heavy duty. It's got the little um, square tip on the end. Excellent for putting receptacles on, so on and so forth. All right, you're neutral. All right. And you're hot. All right, just like that, you have it. You have your hot, your neutral underground. Now, a lot of people will screw these screws in, but as long as you don't use the metal box and you, your wires ain't all crazy looking, you should be okay. If you feel like you want to do it, hey, there's nothing wrong with the screw in there. I usually don't, unless I'm just doing like one or two. But you know what? I'm only doing two, and I didn't do it, so what does that tell you? I'm a rebel with the cause. 
Just like that, we're ready to roll. Now let's check them and see if it works. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take your test drive and make sure it works first. So you see the red light's on, so we'll go ahead and we'll reset it. All right, we'll come here and make sure that both lights are on, and they are. So that means I have good ground. It means it's wired completely correctly, okay? Now, what we want to do is we want to check this GFI first thing. Okay, we've got a little button right here. It trips, so we know that one's good, right? All right, we'll reset. All right, we'll come over here to this one. We'll look. We know that both lights are on. It's correct. We'll hit the button on top. Watch for the GFI to trip. Bam. So we know it's good. Now watch the lights come back on when I reset this GFI, okay? Ready? Watch the lights. Are you watching? Bam! Bazinga! Alright guys, so why would you want to do that versus having a GFI, having a GFI, having a GFI, having a GFI? Because first of all, these cost about 50 cents. Those cost about 12 bucks a piece. Just rough ball park estimate. I'm sure there's going to be somebody say, well, they're actually 17. Well, maybe so, but you know what? I'm just giving what I bought them for last time, okay? About 12 bucks, 15 bucks a piece, okay? So you're looking at one GFI for, you know, four or five different receptacles. So like I said, this is perfect for a garage, bathroom. You can put one GFI on your sink, and then you can put another receptacle on down the line and just have that, okay? Now, when you buy these receptacles, these GFI receptacles, they have little stickers on them. Now, I don't put them on there, but you should. If, especially if you're doing this at somebody else's house, you know, you put the little GFI protected stickers on there. They look exactly like this. These are the stickers that comes with it, okay? So I can focus in on you. You just put them on downstream, not on here. You want to put them on the plate. So, you know, that people know what, know what it is. Uh, so, this is an easy, easy, easy task to do, guys. You don't have to pay nobody to do this, you know. A lot of people, they don't want to do it, so they pay people, and that's fine. You know, just that. make sure that you get somebody that understands the code, that does it right, and you go back and test to make sure, or have them test in front of you, because you don't want to be in your bathroom, drying your hair, or curling your hair, or whatever you do, and your hair dryer slips out of your hand, bam, right in the commode, you know, what happens? So, you know, you want to make sure it's protected as much as possible. Okay, guys? Pretty cut and dry, right? If you have any comments, questions, concerns down below, leave me a comment, and I will do my best, which I always do, to, uh, you know, address the comments. Um, a negative or not, I don't care. I, I like them all. So, if you have any ideas that you want me to do uh, electrically-wise, um, you know, bending conduit, uh, I mean, I... I like doing all that stuff, so if you have any ideas, you know, electrically wise that you might want to see on here, definitely leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see, and I will do my best to get to it, guys. All right, guys, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. Hit that bell button. God bless. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.